name is Ashley. Today I'm gonna prepare you a very beautiful arrangement with my beautiful flowers from the garden. All right, we'll start. Here you see my beautiful roses from the garden. Now it's the beautiful season for flowers and I pick up some little pink flowers over here. There I have some ferns, I have some filler, I have little grasses and haze and I wanna put them all together and make them beautiful flower arrangement so as usual i always say this plant it has a little bit milk in it you have to be careful when you cut them your hands get milk you better wash them because it's poisonous so don't let put your finger in your mouth or to your eyes which is a lot of plants we have to be very careful with it so i think we have to start with this beautiful it's a coral plant it's so beautiful and I think that with this roses it will go very very nice this will be different kind of filler like this and when you put the roses between them they will look beautiful look at the flower color how beautiful it is kind of greenish pinkish it's so pretty so what we have to do now we have yellow color too but I'm gonna keep that away we're gonna Fill it with this beautiful color roses. So, so we have such a pretty flowers, roses over here that I don't feel bad to cut them short, but inside we're gonna make a beautiful arrangement and we can enjoy them inside. We have to bring outside beautiful roses indoors so we can enjoy them even size. So what we have to do, what I wanna do is, I wanna put the top higher and a little bit the bottom shorter. Usually we put the big one and go the small ones, but I'm just gonna do it, spread it out, beautiful flower, beautiful arrangement that it can go either way. You can see every corner every side back and front well i cleaned up the thorns there is some of course still what happened to your kitten my little kitten he's sneezing because he's playing here we go are you bad boy are you bad boy so he's playing with the feather and then it's rubbing on his nose that's why he's sneezing so, all right, we're gonna do beautiful roses like this. You can leave the leaves on it if you want, but I think that it will be too crowded. That's why I cleaned up the, the leaves. So we will see more flower and then we will put some fillers. And I think it's gonna look good. You really don't need too many flowers. We're gonna make this a little bit shorter. Make sure when you bring your flowers, roses, anything that you cut from outside, make sure when you bring it in, always before, while you're not putting so quickly in the water, what happens? The bottom, it gets some air because it stays out from the water. It gets some air and then what it does, the air starts to travel up and while it's traveling, the air goes, by the time it reaches to the head, the rose starts to get limp. They'll die very, very quick. And I don't think that you want it. You want to enjoy your roses for a long time. You can put a teaspoon of sugar in it. It kind of lasts a little longer. Some people, they say you can put bleach in it, one teaspoon. In the water, you'll mix it very, very little, very thin, not a lot, to cut the bacteria of the water, I guess. So now you see that I'm taking up, even though it's from the water still, I cut them. Now, because of course, I have to make it sure that it like looks kind of nice, but at the same time, you'll cut them a little bit. So what it does, it, if there is any air, it goes away. We don't want any air in our roses. 
So now I think I'm gonna keep like this. Let's see if this kind of filler will be okay for me or not. Or maybe we can put from this kind of fern. I think it will look very, very nice. I'm gonna clean them here. I guess I have to cut them. You have to be careful. Some of the plants, they have thorn, which this one, it does. And it's very wild. It grows very beautifully in the garden when you plant them. You see them, they are very, very sharp thorn they have. So these ones, I have to cut them a little bit shorter too. With my finger, let's pull it. Here we go. This is how we have to put the filler. This one, because it's long, we can cut it in two pieces. I really don't know what, how do I have to do decoration while you're bringing them inside. And when you start to decorate, it starts to get, give you ideas where to put, what to put, and it will become really beautiful arrangement. You have to be very artistic. It doesn't need any anything special just try to put it you all can do all kind of things decoration like this arrangement like this i'm sorry they're all the same arrangement decoration to decor to your house always it's nice to have plants in the house like a garden while they were outside in the garden i have a lot of mulberry flowers now that it started the season my backyard my front yard is full of it this is very very simple flower arrangement and I think it's beautiful now let's see maybe we can put now that I have this let's see I have over here very beautiful, I don't know what do they call this flower because it's really pinkish. Maybe I think it will give a little nice color in it. So let's make a little short and there you go. It gives a little bit liveliness to the flower, to the arrangement. There you go. You know what? There is so much beautiful white flowers outside. Even if you go on your sidewalk while you're walking, you see so many beautiful different kind of leaves and branches. Every time I walk, I see interesting things that sometimes you don't need, you don't look, you don't think about it. But when you start to put your mind as a flower arrangement it gives you so much idea that i can do this and i can do that let me see just very very little arrangement like this and what did i pick over here some grasses like it's a weed and i have over here i think this is a hay that they feed the horses and here in my garden, it kind of came out, but doesn't look like good with this. Let me see. And I want to show you, let's put those things away so we can see the beauty of the arrangement. And maybe I can add even a couple more roses the bottom, but I think this looks very pretty the way it is maybe i should add a couple more couple more filler of this just cut it and fill it in we have to raise it so we can see how beautiful it is I think we need a couple of these fillers. All right. 
I think it makes a difference when the table is clean. You can see more what you need to put. I get excited sometimes. I love arrangement. I love flowers. I'm sure you can guess that I love gardens. You've seen my videos. You've seen my garden. I enjoy plants. Maybe I spend half of my day in the garden, enjoying the beautiful flowers, enjoying the fruits, the trees, watering them. My little kitty cat is moving my videos. There you go. Here is the arrangement. I hope you like it. This is the way it's going to look all around. Very simple and very beautiful. Well, I hope you like this. And you have if you have any roses, don't let them go waste in a garden by just dropping them to the floor just pick them up and make beautiful arrangement and bring it in the house and have fun with it who doesn't like to watch this kind of beauty in the house so well thank you for watching try pick up your flowers and bring them in and enjoy them thank you again bye bye if you like it please subscribe to the channel and like and i thank you again bye bye Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you.